Hello, it's Jim from JetsonAxe.com. Today we are looking at the new Jetson Nano 2GB Developer Kit. NVIDIA provided this board for our review. The familiar green box contains a Jetson Nano 2GB Developer Kit, a Wi-Fi dongle, and a USB cable for extending the Wi-Fi dongle. This is the baby brother to the Jetson Nano. In comparison to the Jetson Nano, there are differences on the hardware side and on the software side. On the hardware side, there are a couple of differences. The first is that there is two gigabytes of main memory versus four gigabytes on the Jetson Nano. And the second major difference is that there are fewer connectors on the carrier board. On the software side, the desktop is a little bit different. LXDE is the default window manager replacing GNOME. Let me flip the board over. There are no components or connectors on the underside of the board. However, there is a generous amount of silk screening labeling the headers. The Jetson Nano 2GB runs from a micro USD card. The SD card slot is located underneath the heat sink. Let's remove the Jetson Nano module. Two screws secure the module. And two clips, one on each side. I have removed the Jetson module from the carrier board. This reveals some more signals that are available on header pins. Let's take a quick walk around the board. This is a USB 2.0 micro USB connector, gigabit ethernet, two USB 2.0 connectors, a USB 3.0 connector, HDMI for the display. And now to power the Jetson Nano 2GB, there's a USB-C port. It needs three amps at five volts. MIPI CSI2 camera connector, there are several cameras available for it. Here's the header underneath the module. Amongst the signals available here is the serial console. And on this side of the board, we have the standard 40 pin GPIO header. This allows you access to functions such as I2C, UART, PWM, and SPI. The kit also comes with a Wi Fi dongle. Here's the Jetson module itself. Let me turn it over here. And here's the slot for the SD card. The Jetson Nano is based on the Tegra X1 SOC. Here's some specs. I've been working with NVIDIA on the Jetson AI Fundamentals course. This is a set of videos that will be up on YouTube. There are about four hours of video instructions available here at the start. The videos cover how to get started with machine learning on the Jetsons. Here's some clips from the videos from the JetBot series where I used a Jetson Nano 2GB. In our last Jetson AI Fundamentals video, we built the JetBot hardware. Mine has googly eyes. JetBot, JetBot, happy little JetBot, 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 go! I've prepared a 64 gigabyte SD card using Jetpack. The first step is to set up a swap file. When we have the green dot on the image where we want it, we hit the down button on the game controller. Just like this. Count is now one. Now we move our robot, move it to a different place or a different angle. Don't grab it by the heatsink. Don't ask me how I know that. Then we define our neural network. We are using ResNet 18. We're going to use transfer learning with it. Let's load that up. This took about 20 minutes for 50 epochs on 200 images. Let's see if it pays attention to my hand. Yes. That's useful. How about a shark? Oh, it knows better than that now. It's getting smarter. Lifting off the surface. All in all, quite interesting. You can certainly spend a lot of time playing with this. Lots to learn here.
The low light performance was surprisingly good. There's a lot of fun to be had here. It doesn't take very long to train your model. You could, of course, lay out your tracks differently, gather your images, train your neural network. Jetpot, Jetpot, happy little Jetpot, 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 go! Jetpot, Jetpot, happy little Jetpot, 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 everywhere he goes. Jetpot, Jetpot, happy little Jetpot, 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 go! Jetpot, Jetpot, happy little Jetpot, 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 everywhere he goes. In order to run the Jetson Nano 2GB, you will need to provide a USB-C power supply and a micro SD card. If you plan on using the Jetson in the instructional videos mentioned in this video, you should get a card with 64 gigabytes of memory. I will leave links in the description below. At a price of $59, the NVIDIA Jetson Nano 2GB Developer Kit is a great gateway into machine learning. The low price and small size makes this kit suitable for makers, students, and educators who need a lot of computing and machine learning power at a low price. Hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, and stay safe.